Hey everybody. So today, instead of centering this video around a research paper, this video is going to be centered around a model very specifically, specifically because there's not a research paper that is directly tied to this model. The model does cite a research paper. Uh, if you look at the model that, or the research paper that the model cites, it's Soundstorm Efficient Parallel Audio Generation from May 16th, 2023. Uh, and it's a great research paper, but it's essentially just uh, for them like um, foundational um, inspiration for the model overall. And the interesting thing about this model is there's a few interesting things about it. Uh, first, it's a 1.6 billion parameter model. So very small, uh, well, small in terms of uh, these models go. Uh, small enough to run on uh, your typical like standard consumer hardware with a GPU, of course. Um, and then within that overall, uh, they have it running now in a bunch of spaces. And the big thing to highlight with this overall, and the big thing I want to point out and, and spend a lot of time with this video on is that this uh, particular researcher and the, the person that made it, it's one person, right? It's like, uh, we're a tiny team of one full-time and one part-time research engineers, and we welcome, uh, we're welcome to any contributions. And then so like bottom line within this, right? There's a major misconception that people still have. I've been trying to state this over and over and that's kind of like why I have my channel a lot of these things right that um, all of this is accessible to anyone <laughs> like I cannot state that enough over and over again right if you have the uh, gumption the know-how and and the willingness to work through this and to work through these things the sky is the limit right and that's like uh, it's literally true like we have we live in a golden age as far as uh this technology is concerned and access to technology right the the biggest uh, impediment that exists in the world overall is gatekeeping knowledge <laughs> like that's i mean uh the entire world operates off of gatekeeping of knowledge essentially and then we live for the first time where there's a huge part of uh, the economy of how the world functions how technology operates where there is no knowledge gatekeeper at the moment because no one has enough knowledge to gatekeep the knowledge and then so it's a very interesting time and and that's why i mean these are the things that drive me and, and and keep me coming back to these things overall right it's that like uh i, I like people don't understand it's it's not large companies that drive these things, right? It's it's uh, this small researcher. I look here and, and like uh, space is using this Mr. Fake Name, right? Like I just call that out. Like if you like uh, understand anything about like um, AI research overall, all you have to do is just say the name Mr. Fake Name, right? People will understand one million percent exactly who that is and, and, and their um, impact on the community, right? And it's. Uh, like uh, it, Mr. Fake Name is not Microsoft, right? It's not Google, right? It's uh, these are the small things that are, are driving these forward, right? And, and like I, I, I can't state that overall enough, right? And it's uh, interesting to me, like you, you can see here, like uh, as well that they didn't even uh, in their acknowledgments, right? So uh, first of all, they want to thank a Google TPU Research Cloud program for providing compute resources. <laughs> like that's the bottom line, right? Like it's the the impediment to these things is compute resources, right? Uh, they happen to get a grant and they were able to build this out, right? Uh, give me enough compute, I could build these models for you as well. I could build models all day for you if you give me the the, the compute for free right uh same thing like uh like uh they now have it up on hugging face because they were provided a zero gpu grant so everything that is being built out as far as these models is all grant based right like this person the only reason they were able to do this and they're putting this out is 100 percent because someone somewhere gave them money in order to grant to do this right like it's not um people falling over themselves to fund these things. <laughs> like, I, like, I think a lot of, like, there's, I think a lot of the general public has so many misconceptions around these things that it, it isn't even funny, right? And I think a lot of it is, I mean, that's driven by the corporations, right? The corporations, I think, I want it to be uh, and want that dominant narrative to, to be pervasive, right? That you need a big corporation in order to do these things. Like, you need Big Daddy Microsoft to come in and, and hold your hand uh, in order to do these things. Like I'm at the point now though, I, I don't think that AI is 100% going to 
wipe out like all industries overall and, and have huge impact. Uh, and listen, I think it will have massive impact on those things, but I don't think it's going to be like 100% decimating uh, simply because of the fact that I think that people are lazy. <laughs> like, I think that, um, this like uh the knowledge to build a website for example has existed for uh 20 25 plus years at this point right uh i learned how to build websites in high school um and like html and all of that and like uh when I was in high school, like we were taught HTML, like, like, like we had to go through and, and learn HTML and like less people know HTML now than they did when I was in high school, right? I thought it would be the reverse and, and, and it's actually like the opposite, right? Like this generation is actually um, worse technologically than like the millennial generation overall. Like it's, it's like uh, just, uh, it's interesting dynamics to me within that, right? So like um, I think that there's going to be a lot more haves and have nots within this technology, but it's not going to be like 100% universal across the board just because not enough people <laughs> across the board are going to be um, interested in these things overall. But so with that segue, let's get into the interesting parts of this, like the, the technical parts, right? So on the here's the github repository um, that they have for um the the release here uh, and then it's got 6.2k stars within two days very interesting right so uh these things go viral very quickly and that's other thing to point out right it's that, that that like um it's just whatever the market globs onto in these instances and just decides to make it go viral right this is the model that the market just decided to make go viral uh, if we go back here my favorite model overall within this is this right? Kokoro 82M, 32 million, uh, uh, 82 million parameters over, uh, 82 million parameters overall, right? Uh, this is my favorite model. And you look at this, like two million downloads last month, right? Compared to the uh, mo the model that we're looking at here, the Dia model here, which is the, not the top of Hugging Face. 20,000 downloads last month, right? But this one is is going viral right now. <laughs> like, so this one is, is see, ooh, going viral. But I mean, in comparison, the, I mean, the other one was like, I mean, it was, it was kind of the killing, <laughs> like that was kind of crazy, right? The difference um, between uh, the, the two models, like the, like the Kokoro had like millions of downloads compared to the, the uh, 18,000 there. Let me go back. That's kind of crazy actually. Yeah, two million downloads compared to like eighteen thousand, but this one is going viral, and then so I mean that tells you a lot of things overall about these things and, and how marketing over uh, operates within AI, right? Like I get kind of sick of that overall too. But um, diving into this, I think what a lot of people are here for, and what I'm going to advertise around this video for, is that this is uh, the collab notebook for the Dia 1.6b model, and then so uh, well, this is the one thing that I didn't see built out around this, and then so hey, if I don't <laughs> know me. I saw something, saw a model within the range, didn't have a collab notebook, should have had a collab notebook, now it has a collab notebook. So here it is, DIA 1.6B TTS. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to set up. You're going to want to run T, uh, the T4 connection. And then so this first cell is just making sure that your T4 connection is all set up. Then you want to, um, right now, this is the only way that you can do it is just to do a git clone from their GitHub repository. There's no library for it. Um, and then you do want to pip install the sound file, which is that um, uh, paper that I mentioned at the top of this video. Um, and then so you just pip install that, that, that uh, package there. Uh, and then you take the, the model and you load the model. It takes a, a couple of minutes to, to load the model because you have to load all the weights in. And then so it's a 1.6 billion parameter model. It's not entirely small overall, just small when it comes to AI. And then here's the outputs. I'll show you the, the I'll play this for you. Hello, this is Dia, an open weights text to dialogue model. Sounds pretty realistic, right? Yes, it can even handle things like. <laughs> Impressive. Let's generate some audio. Cool. So to me, like, I mean, I've played around with a lot of these models now. That's really on par with 11 Labs. I think that's why, like, that's why it's going viral, right? Is because this is like on par with 11 Labs for free. And then so, like, if you want 11 Labs for free, um, here it is, Dia 1.6b. Um, here it is in collab form. Uh, and then also check out their the uh, Hugging Face Spaces. Like they have it um, now. It, like you can check out with the Hugging Face Spaces. I don't like it because it's limited. I'll check out this this one here. Um, it's like, uh, yeah, you have like um 
so you're limited by both GPU as well as the amount of uh, like text that you can put in here. Usually, like I think it's like 500 line, like uh, 500 tokens uh, or 500 characters of text at one time is generally the limit. Uh, and then also you have a zero GPU limit, right? So uh, like how it works overall with Hugging Face uh, overall, and then so you have your your limit here, um, and then like this goes up quickly, right? Um, and then so um, yeah, like you have limits overall when you're util utilizing it there, um, as opposed to like uh, collab or within your own localized environment well here you go here's the code to do that and set it up uh, pretty straightforward overall um, and then so I'll leave a link to uh, both the model on hugging face as well as the collab notebook uh, and then if you like this type of content please like and subscribe thank you very much